there, Michelle Crafty Surfing. He was the snowman that I made. All right, isn't he adorable? Yes, yes, you want to see him. Um, so this was the snowman I make. Well, this is going to end up to be a series because I have so many ideas to do just with that body. Um, we're doing an angel today. So hop on, let me know you're out there. I've got a lot of this already prepped because it would take too long for me to do. Let me show you the pattern pieces. And again, out on YouTube, Crafty Servings, um, I do have uh, more of a video explaining how to do these, but these are the pieces that I have, okay? So you cut four of these. You can make them any size or really, you know, shape them a little different if you want, but you need four of these. And I have a straight edge on here. You want two of these. These are gonna be the arms. And then this is my head, all right? Um, that's, that's the shape of my head. So you need one of these, you need two arms. And I do, like when I cut these out and I cut four of them, I fold this four times. Depends how thick your material is. And this is the material I'm using. I get it at um, Hobby Lobby. It's a little bit thicker than some of the muslin, okay? And I love, there's like texture in it that you can see. Um, for these arms, I fold it four times also, but then when you have this, you place it on a seam, all right? So yes. Um, so anyhow, here, so we've got two of them. Now I've already prepped some of this. I sewed this together. This is where I said I have it out. It's the same body that I used on this snowman. Same body, same shape. So I have it out on my Crafty Servings YouTube to go watch the video if you want more. But what I do is just take, you take each of those pieces and you sew them together. You're just whip stitching it. And I'm going to show you that on an arm. Okay, so I already have this together and I already, oh, I thought I had my gather stitch in here. I don't. We're going to do that. I do have, this is a circle, so it's like a size like this. I already have that gathered up and I'll show you the gathering on there. All right. And I have one arm already done. Let's go ahead and get started so that I get to the fun decorating part. All right, and I'm using crochet cotton. So this is um, six strand. Somebody had asked me that. Yes, it's six strand. And I'm just gonna put a couple pins in here to hold it together. All right, and I'm gonna start uh, up by the hand up here on the inside. Oh, thank you, Chris. I said, this is going to be a whole series. I had so many ideas to do with this body. It's crazy. It, it's, I'm excited. The next, the next that I'm going to do too. So this is an angel today. And all I'm doing is just, I'm pulling it a little tight so that it has a funny little gathers um, because I like that look. If you want, if you don't want to hand sew this, so I'm just going from the bottom back up, whatever way works for you, and it's pulling it together. Whoa. Cass is trying to find a place to lay down, and my camera stuff is all, and my lights are all over. He's going to knock you yet. Hello, Susan. So I'm just going to do this all the way, and this is the exact same process that I did on the body, too. Now, if you want, you could definitely glue this if you want to sew it on a sewing machine. Now, this is if you don't want it as rustic as what mine is going to look, this ain't just going to look rustic, okay? It's sort of country. If you don't want it as rustic, then just um, sew it with a sewing machine or glue it along this seam and then flip it inside out, and then you won't have these rough edges. Thank you, Susan, for passing me on. So I'm excited about how this is going to turn out. I was playing with her last night. We'll just get some of this out of here. I gotta get my mouse out of here too. Give me some space. All right, so, and I've got, like I said, I've got all this prepped. It is out on video already in my YouTube shop um, for the snowman, same body. out of my way all right and then this will be the last of this part of the sewing 
And I'm going to knot it off. I'm really, I'm rushing here. Okay, so I'm just making a knot. I'm picking up the loop of the last string. You can see that. I'm picking up the loop of the last string. And when you pull it, it you, you've got that loop left here. I'm just putting the needle right through that loop. And when you pull it, that's creating knot. And I did that two times. And I'm going to go ahead and make a knot at the bottom. Again, so I'm ready to gather this. All right, we're going to start stuffing right away. I've got one arm already stuffed. We got the head. I've got it already gathered up. So we're going to just start stuffing. I hope I don't pull out my string here. I shouldn't. And I always put, even when I do this gathering stitch, which I'll show you on the bottom of this, I always put a knot on one side so you're not pulling it back out. Now the head I'm stuffing pretty full, the body I'm not. And honestly, this head, you can leave some of this middle hole open and stuff more in. It's just, um, you're not going to see it. So that way, if I've got this little space in here, I'm just knotting that off. you got that little space in here, I can stuff more, make it nice and full. And I'm just knotting that off. Okay, I do want to add some more in because I want this head full. So I just take in and stuff it in through that hole. And I use, I use a crochet cotton also sometimes if I want, but this was just regular um, embroidery floss. It was all six strands and it definitely was strong enough for me to gather. All right, this is the head. I wanna see if I have a nice spot for, for the face. Cause we, we, need, we need a cute face for her. All right, then I'm gonna take some. Um, here, I'll show you the gathering stitch now. All you do is put it through, you have a knot on one end, put it through and bring it back up. And you can do that all the way around, but it is a lot easier to just catch the fabric and just go down and up and down and up all the way around. And that extra there. Okay. Now we're just stuffing the body. It's okay, Kathy. It's okay. You're never late on here. Never late. This, like I said, this was the same process that I did for the snowman. Um, I actually, I think I did the snowman last week and I fell in love with him. But we're doing Angel today. Next time I'm going to do something else with them because I've got so many ideas of what you could do with this body. Add a, I, I'll probably add a little bit more yet. Um, I did that with my pumpkins this year too. Normally I stuff them full, but not this year. I, I like this look. Just a little more. Okay. And then we're just going to tie this. Now this is going to be the bottom. So you can always put something on the bottom to cover up this if you afraid people are going to see it. Now see what I put at the bottom of the snowman? These were Dollar Tree little kid slippers. You don't see the bottom. And so that's that's what those were. We're going to be using some Dollar Tree things in here, too. All right. I just want to do one more knot. Just to make sure. We don't want this little lady coming apart. Yeah, I've got ideas for these. I'm, I'm so hooked on doing these. We're going, to, we're going to be saving that pattern piece because we're going to have a whole series here when I'm done. All right. Um, okay. So next, I have a lot of these doilies from from my mom. Okay, my mom and my grandma. That's going on. That's going to be part of this. I'm just going to put um, a few stitches. Oh, I do need to. I am going to sew again. Let me just grab. 
I was going to grab some lighter string. Let's just do this one again. I got a knot in there. I don't need a lot here. All right, I'm going to make it because I'm a little knotted here. I'm just going to make my own end. And grab my needle. You have many dollars, doilies from your grandma. And I found these after I went and cleaned my mom's place. I found these in um, one, of drawer, one of her drawers, like all these little ones. I knew I had a bunch of big ones and of my grandma's and hers, but I didn't know these little ones. I'm just going to catch the bottom of this and lay this on. You're not going to see it. Just stitching it on. You could also glue it if you want. I, I mean, there will probably end up to be glue on here anyhow when I'm doing it. Okay, so now I'm going to start putting on this head. I'm going to see a cute front of the body. I like that front of the body. I'm going to bring the string back up through the doily. And I'm on the find the front of my head. I think it's going to be this side. Maybe this side. You can always stuff more and make it the way you want it. Okay, this is going to be the front of my head, and we're just going to put it on there. You could also glue it if you want. But I'm just catching the string. Catching the string and then running it back down through. We're going to go all the way through this doily again. I just keep catching the head and then I'm catching the body underneath and sewing it on. Again, you can glue if you want. I'm just catching this all the way around. And just sewing this head on. All right, let's see where that was the front. Okay, I'm almost all the way around. Again, you can definitely add some glue if you wanted to make sure. But I'm not going to do anything harsh to this angel to make her head come off. So I'm fine with just some stitches. Let's find the front of her again. This is the front. Yep, that's the front of her. See how cute she is? Right. So I'm going to go ahead um, and get, I've got this mocha stamp pad. I'm going to make her with, we're going to do our arm. i got to arm this stuff here yet. That's one arm. Let's stuff this arm up quick. I don't want these arms stuffed real full. Just. Just a little bit. They don't need to be big and puffy. All right, that's plenty. And I don't even have to glue this, sew this together. I'm going to add just a little bit. I have fabric tack here. And we're just going to glue that shut. So this is the beacon fabric tack. I'm using that a lot today. All right. So I'm just going to stick this up underneath here. We're going to sew her arm or glue her arms in it. You can use hot glue also if you want. This fabric tech works really nice though. Let's just age this up a little bit. Just put some glue to close that up. We'll put some glue on all around on this arm. And we're gonna put this arm under this side.
make sure they're sort of even. All right, they're going to gel a little bit. All right, wings, wings, wings. I think these are Dollar Tree, like maybe at Halloween time. I think these are Dollar Tree. You could get them at Hobby Lobby, though, too, probably. Um, just want to make sure we're, we're straight where we want to do. This is actually going to be... I'm not sure. I twist her head. I really think this is going to be my front. All right, we're going to change it. We're going to change it. Let's just do hot glue because I know it'll stick quicker. I love the beacon, but we're going to, I want to make sure it's going to stick good. Then you have to be careful so you're not going to get burnt. Right, let's do the same again. I found I had it on the wrong side because I like the front of the head here. Okay, so these are going to be our, our angel wings, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hot glue for now again just to get a quick stick. I'm going to tuck it right up underneath, right up underneath there. And then we're going to do the same on this one. Looking cute. She's going to get only cuter. She's going to get cuter. All right, make sure these wings are where you want them. I said, I did the fabric tack last night, and that worked really, really well. I want to make sure we're going to add, let's just add a little under this doily just to keep that doily down then. As that doily shifts, these wings are going to shift. So we want the wings to stay upright. That one's pretty good. And I am going to put some up on top of the wings and get that head squished down up on, on top of the wings like that, too. Okay, so we'll just let that, we'll let that gel like that. All right, let's do the cheeks. I've got my blush. And I don't need much. I'm going to do round little cheeks. I did that on the snowman, too. All right, the other option I'm going to show you later is we can add eyes on her, which will be very easy. All right, let's get that out of our way. Okay, next, so the hair. This is where the dew came in. Now, you could also use, this was a Dollar Tree mop. You could stain it, or if you're not being going rustic, you could do it. It's just pulling all these out and separating each of the strands, and you get that nice curl and tying it together. So you could do that. That's, that's a great option. But, of course, I'm doing rustic, and I've got probably about 40 pieces of jute here that I untwisted. And to get that beautiful, um, beautiful wave. Okay, I also added in some of this Dollar Tree cording, jute cording. It's so cute. Um, we, I, I like that color. We're going to add that in for the bowl, so that'll work out really, really good. Um, let me just grab another piece of jute to tie this with, or actually, I think we could just use this. No. We're going to grab a piece of jute to tie it with. I'm going to tie it sort of in the middle. Now, I, like I said, it was probably about 40 pieces of the two-ply or of three-ply. You get it at Walmart. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can get finer at Dollar Tree. But 
So that's our hair. Let's go ahead and, and do some hair placements. Now, some of it I want, and look at what this cording is. It's just a little pretty and it actually curls a little bit too. I want a little bit ahead of the wings. And we're gonna leave a little bit ahead of the wings here now too. Now you could flip some of this side. No, I'm really itching now. You could flip some of some of this over across the top here, but I don't think I need to. Um, okay, so I'm just looking at placement because I want some of the hair in the front ahead of the wings, but I don't want a lot because I want to be able to see it. I also want to be able to cover up this spot here. Okay, and the rest of this is going to come down behind here. Okay. And you can gather this and make it a really pretty, which I may do yet. All right, so let's just add some, um, you know what, let's just do fabric glue again. It's a little quicker. Oh, I got some glue on her face. Okay, and like I say, you could pull a little back like this to make it really, really pretty. Put a little clip in. I love these little red pieces that come down like that. Make sure your wings are still out. Okay. All right, let's just do, let's do, um, we're going to, tie this into this so i put a tag on the snowman saying um made with love that's what i'm doing on this one too i should, probably should have done that before i put the hair on but let's just go ahead and add that in too like i said this is going to end up to be a series we need to flip this hair over <laughs> just tie that in the back here the rest of it we don't have to tie in the back this one we do all right let's see where did that take go <laughs> there it is i hope i'm going to be able to see it okay we'll let that down some all right next okay this is going to be the halo a grapevine again I'm just going to set that on there for now so you get the gist of it. Now, you tell me with the eyes. I have painted little clay balls. They, I put two little clay, like just the Model Magic balls. I could put the little eyes in here. So you can tell me that. Um, I also did some stars up that I'll show you. But let's do, let's finish doing this because i know i'm gonna run out of time let's do we're gonna do a cute little bow with this twine also and a lot of times i'll use raffia but we're going to use excelsior today i think that's what we call it i'm just going to take some of these pieces and we're going to tie these together I want some longer pieces to come out of here. There we go. I should put her in front, front and center here, huh? So let's just take some of this Excelsior. You could stain this also. You could use raffia if you don't have this. Whatever's going to work. And you don't need a lot. I'm just going to take some of this embroidery floss and tie that together. Wrap it around a couple times. It holds it all together. And then just tie a knot. Cut that off. You don't need to see that. All right, that's the salsa. So that's going to go in here. And then also on the bottom of this, I have two wood beads. We're going to just add them on. Just add a little cute. 
and tie a knot to hold those on. Like I said, when I saw that snowman body and I started thinking, there's so many things you can do with that body. It doesn't have to be just a snowman. So this is going to be a series. I have more ideas of what I'm going to be doing with that snowman body. All right, so we can always move this up. So this, I am just got this on as a little bowl. Let's put this seltzer up in here. I hope we're going to see that made with love because I might have it tied a little tight. Okay, just tucking that in there. And to put this little bow in here. I love this. It's like a jute. It's colored jute. You get it at the Dollar Tree. All right, and we do have to, we're going to tie this up a little higher. They don't have to be the same length. You just need to be able to see it. Made it. What um, somebody's questioning, where did you get the body? I made it. So watch the beginning, but the beginning does not tell the whole thing. Go to my YouTube channel, Crafty Servings, and look for the snowman that looks like this. I have a YouTube video there that explains the body. It's the same exact body. All right, so we got, we got her. Now I also have here, now I did some stars up. I did some that have some of the, um, whoa, man down, angel down. I did some that have some of this um, coffee ground on, and I, I do sort of like that. We're going to do that. I'm just going to glue that to the back of our hand. I had others done too. Ooh, that's hot. I had some like this. I had some that were just stained. I think I'm liking this, and I'm probably... I'm gonna make that. I might make these arms a little shorter yet too. I'm just gonna tuck this arm up a little higher. Okay, I have a few other ideas yet to add on here. Okay, and I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually glue. I could glue these hands together like this. I could glue something like that. That would be sort of cute, though, wouldn't it? We could do that. Then we want to make sure we see our beads and stuff. My bow's coming out of there. Okay, we'll, we'll decide that. Let's just do this one more time here. Get this bow back in here. Let's add a button. I have a little heart button. We're going to add that in there. We're going to add that halo back on. We'll glue that on now. So this was a great bind. Like, you're pretty close to me today, but I wanted you to be able to see. Now the halo. Now I have these tiny little stars too that I think would be really cute just placing a little bit. And now I'm not using hot glue because I don't want to burn. But I'm going to put a little bit in some of the hair and I'll show you how cute this will be. These are like stars that I have from my, I have an Etsy shop that I do put in laser um, kits. Look at by adding those little stars in her hair. Isn't that going to be cute? Now, should we, this is the last thing that I was wondering. Should we put these little eyes that I made? Let me see if I have my tweezer out here. Should we glue these little eyes on her? What do you think? I'm going to add some 
I'll just beak and glue to this star too. Because it's really not staying on with the hot glue today. Yes, with the eyes. I'll make it a little. Star is not wanting to stay on. We'll have to do that. All right. So the eyes, we're gonna make her make her a little whimsical, little little slanted eyes here. The star is gonna bother me. Okay, but otherwise, this is our little lady. Let me see. I think we're gonna end up possibly. If I can figure out how to do this bow here. We're gonna end up having her hold the star together like this. I just want to make sure that star is going to stay on here. Yeah, I do think we're going to, I'm going to end up putting that together and then maybe have these strings hanging off. So anyhow, I am coming almost to the end of my time, but yeah, she just turned out so sweet. Same body as the snowman. I'm going to go through, add some more little stars in her hair. Um, I've got all kinds of little stars here, but um, just turned out so sweet. The other thing I did on the snowman, which I could do on the back of her too, um, is I added a little stamp made with love on the back of the, on his butt. So the, again, this could be a series. So same body but different idea, and I've got more ideas with this body. So do you love her hair? I love this little bit of red through here. I love adding these little stars, but yeah, this Jude from Dollar Tree, I love that. I love that a lot. So, all right, thanks for hopping on with me. We'll see you guys soon.